Hello and welcome to ARCA. We are at USA International this week. Uh, here on Monday night, it is the first time slot of the week. And we are just jumping in. Now, uh, my most recent video was ARCA, as I uh, put off doing Talladega all week until uh, yesterday. And uh, we're jumping right back into ARCA here, as the week has switched over. Took me a little less time to get into this one. In fact, uh, the shortest amount of time, since this is the first time slot we could have possibly joined. Um, gonna do our best here. Short track's not really my strong suit. We'll see what happens. Try to be consistent. Feels like we uh, need a more gear. We're chipping out real bad. You can see, like, we're basically just getting to the start-finish line, it's chipping out. It just feels like we need a little bit more, but... I guess that's alright. Everyone's on the same setup. Just gonna have to make sure I don't blow my freaking motor, I guess. I doubt that's gonna be a thing. There's no way they would do that, right? Right? Uh, second lap's better. That's cool. We got a 275. I'm sure we got uh, more laps coming in, though. Send us back further. 3.7 strength of field. Tons of people signed up, of course, because USA International, I'm sure for a lot of people, is the first track they ever saw in iRacing. It was mine uh, back whenever it was basically Charlotte or USA <laughs> as uh, the two tracks you could experience in the Rookie Street Stocks. That was back in uh, when I first joined iRacing and did a couple races back in 2013, and I remember USA International was the first track I was uh, running around in the street stock being like, wow, simulator, so cool, haven't been used to NASCAR Thunder and the other console games from EA, and I was like, wow, it's so much more difficult, <laughs> so realistic, of course looking back now, I'm sure it was probably the best they had at the time, but 2013 simulation, probably less impressive than what we have now. How am I second place? How did I out-qualify Justin Yee? I swear to god I stink at this. That's the end of the session. What? How? Alright, I guess we qualified well. Um, what? We gotta be P2 though. I hate starting P2. And on a short track too. Justin, you let me down. You're supposed to out-qualify me. Put me P3. <laughs> oh well. Um, this was the first track I ever raced on iRacing. And, uh... That's kind of cool. Always kind of neat to come back here and do some races. We'll be looking for session last lap. We are the number 3 car, unfortunately, despite the high strength of field here. I kind of thought we would get an even higher strength of field, although I think short tracks maybe scare people away a little bit. But, this being a free track, lots of participation. We're going to just look to be consistent. It wants to snap real hard on the exit of corners. If uh, you try to drive too hard, so we're just going to try to be smooth. Not uh, pitch the thing sideways. Keep, uh, keep some tire heat out of the tires by avoiding the slides. And hopefully get ourselves a good finish. Avoid any chaos that may be coming around the bend. No cautions here, of course, on a short track means uh, we might be might be hearing some uh, slow car down low. I'll stop the head. And uh, that's when you know it's time to panic. So <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna do our best. Looks like a P2, uh, not P2. Yeah, it is a P2 starting spot. But I was trying to say it uh, looks like a um, second gear start for us. How are we gonna get a good launch? Ideally I can get him in my rear view mirror, just the front corner of his car so I can see when he launches. Or you know the back corner of his car rather. That's what I try to do when I start P2. But I, I can't like get to the line before him or anything either. I'm not the leader. But 
penalize myself by jumping the start. One to go. Next time by. Got to make sure not to overdrive the entry either, because it will pitch sideways on me if I uh, am not careful. We're gonna try our best to get to the bottom as soon as we can. Not be too aggressive and make any dangerous moves, but it will be important to get down there. And we'll see what happens. 50 laps here at USA. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Pit road is now open. The next car is the leader. A little bit hard into the corner there. A little scary, but we're okay. That was my fault. We'll check some stuff for you. Thanks, buddy. Alright, they're side by side behind us. That's what we kind of want to see. Uh, those guys are going to be hard competitors, and you know that for a fact. The longer we can keep those guys back there, the better. Number four of Aiden thriving away at the moment, though. He's kind of come out of nowhere and been one of the top competitors here in the Arca series. He's very, very fast. Looking good so far. We'll see if we're killing our tires or anything. Oh, could be the case. I've got 66% uh, brake bias, by the way. A little higher than I normally do. Normally I like to put it all the way down. And, uh, just wanted it to... Uh, be loose on entry, so that's why I kind of decided to move it up a little bit. P2, fastest lap for Norman, 21.3. You've just done a 21.4. Tight on exit, that's going to cost us about a tenth. A little bit less, maybe, but not great, regardless. Dorman, 21.3. We'll see what happens here. We had a better one and two that time. I was very lucky to have a nice jump on the start. Justin was not able to get to our inside, and that meant that we could go down and use the preferred lane. Could be all the difference between us being P2 right now. We're being shuffled all the way back to friggin' eighth or worse. That's the inside line goes around us. So that start was very important. You've just done a twenty-one point five. Looks like Larry Pace might be gaining on us a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on him back there. He knows how to get it done at just about any track. Oops. Loose on throttle. Don't let it do the snap thing. Got to be more gentle on my throttle pedal. I've not come up on any stopped cars, but I do remember seeing some tire tracks on the track, so we might have had some action back in the pack, which we'll take a look at later in the incidents. Nothing we've seen with our own eyeballs, though. Except for the crime scene. Yeah, Larry's coming up on us. He looks like he's driving into the corner pretty hard. Maybe we tried driving in a little harder to match. Looks like there's some time to be gained there. Can't overdrive it, but looks like we had uh, some extra room to drive in harder, maybe. You 
We've just done a 21.6. Here coming up on us. I might just let him go. Let's see uh, how his pace is looking to us. No pun intended. But he is catching. And so if we end up side by side, I think uh, I'll just uh, back off. He's got to get the nose on me first, but if it does happen... I think the best thing to do would be just concede the position so we don't lose a bunch of time to Justin behind him. Hey, you never know, maybe he goes and catches the leader, and then he brings the leader back to us. Not a good corner there. But he wasn't quite there yet, so we uh, will cut down, take our line. We don't get the call, I'm running my line. Still quite a ways to go here. Not even halfway. Oh, he used a not great word. Sorry about that. Had some sort of incident. That's the first thing we've seen so far. Nope, that always happens to me. Oh man. Joe must have been caught into it. Boy, he has terrible luck. He's just caught in stuff that's never his fault. My good luck did not help him at the start, unfortunately. So wished him luck. Time Sounds like it still happened. Man, that four is good. He is just absolutely the class of the field right now. No indication that he's letting up. Time was at 21.8. And we slid a little bit into the corner there. Not not fantastic. Slow car down low. Uh oh, it's kicking off. We got more slow car down low call. Dorman is now in the lead. It's like more people we know. It's Nick Martin. Fortunately, has found himself in some trouble. Got a little bit too low there. Gotta be very careful. If you hit that apron, it gets really, really loose. I was afraid I was gonna do that, so I kind of went extra, extra soft on the throw. Oh, a little sideways there. Wanted to snap a little bit, maybe. Yep, that's my luck today. pretty consistent. Joe letting the leader by. He will not be an issue when we get to him. I'm sure he's a good racer. Never had any issues racing with him. Larry, right on my back bumper, waiting for uh, me to make a mistake, which. Pretty much it right there, I think. Try to get a runoff. But he'll probably be able to find the outside. inside. Oh, he's going to the outside. Clear outside if you want it. I'd expect that. Force me to keep it tight. Down low. Experiencing a lack of grip in the mid corner. Officially halfway. Looks like we've been out here for an eternity already. Car outside. 
Clear Joe. Thank you to him. That lap time was 22.0. Thank you. Got too low there. I think that's gonna be enough. Inside. He's too my inside. Time was twenty-two point one. Clear inside. Thank you. So we will hold on to P three for now. We've got the preferred line now. We got to uh, we've put ourselves in a position where Justin has to get the nose on us. Maybe it'll help us to have someone to follow up in front, up our pace out. Sometimes that empty track in front of you can make you lose track of your marks that you need to hit and all that. Justin, not too far back though, he's point three. Very important to keep it down low in the corners, I've noticed. It's easy to drift up through the corner a little early. The corner goes on longer than you might think, and it's it can help you keep some speed if you uh, stick near that yellow line for longer. It's kind of what I've found in practice. I, have, uh, I failed to get on the throttle as I needed to there. Justin blinking behind us. I don't think I've ever seen him have connection issues, but he is right now. I'm having driving issues. Getting a little bit looser on exit, maybe, for us. Just gotta remember to be smooth. Third place would be awesome. Going into this one, I was thinking in my head, like, yeah, top ten would be fine. Hands hurting a bit. So I usually <laughs> grip my steering wheel way too hard on these short tracks. Most tracks, but especially short tracks. Got a bad habit. Whew. Oh, lap car getting loose up ahead. That's scary. Hopefully they'll uh, make room for us. Looks like they will. Car outside. Clear outside. Alright, got that figured out. down to it. We're coming to 13 to go. Maybe gained a little bit on Justin back. You've just done a great corner there though. I think I entered a little shallow. Fatigue's setting in. Gotta hold on though. Still got some work to do.
Ooh, it really wants to break loose on the exit. It's really a fine line. There's some speed there. You uh, aren't afraid to walk along that edge. Really focused right now, because any big mistake, I think Justin will take advantage. He's close enough that I can't uh, let up too much. It's starting to concern me. I'm getting a little bit too tight on entry and center. Just hurting our corner speeds. Want three back? Ooh, I entered way too high. I think we can cut down though. Alright, made that work decently well. Not great. Salvaged it. Your lap time was 22.3. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. It's getting really tight at the end here. That was a uh, 22.3. Ooh, my hands hurt. Come to five to go. Driving it really hard. Not mean to drive it quite that hard, but I guess it kind of worked. Five, five to go. We're in a podium position are in fact in a podium position, just barely. Justin's looking to end that bid for us though. That was a 22.3. I'm in a three to go. Hey, had a much better corner there, I felt like. Your lap time was at 22.2. Oh, we drove that a little bit. Get the exit at least. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. Last lap time was at 22.3. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Oh, we got a little bit too low on the exit there, but just to maybe back off a little bit, maybe had an issue of okay, his own. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Let's gotta make sure we don't snap it loose here on this final lap, and I think we should be able to hold on to it. Just to drive it extra hard and seeing if it'll stick. But we'll hold on to P3. Oops. Podium finish. Nice. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Good race. Impressive win for. Great job. You did really well. Four really oh good. Yeah, Gavin, I'm fucking vibrating. <laughs> Sounds like they had a good race back there. It was an Austin sandwich for the entire half of the last half of the race. We'll see what our tires uh, look like. Leader had 89.89. He had 87.90. It could have been on there. Boys, boys, that was that some beautiful stuff right there. Great race, Austin. That was amazing. I tried to give you the slightest bump and run there. Justin's got 88.88. I assume is what that means. <laughs> Justin's got an extra tire. <laughs> in there. Yeah, the uh the gear. <laughs> That's what Larry's talking about. <laughs> it's really on the chip for quite a while. 
Looking at some of the other tires that come in. Just always interesting to see. We're driving in real hard, it looks like, compared to a lot of guys. But we get P3 finish out of Justin. Famous Arca Farmer. <laughs> Got a great YouTube channel if you haven't seen it. Lots of great iRacing content of all kinds. Talking about iRacing and not even just Arca, but the broader service. Always enjoy watching what he has to uh, has to say and upload. So we'll see uh, what did happen out here. Thankfully, nothing to us. Oops, <laughs> clicked out of the screen back then. Um, let's see. Wow, about half the field actually ended up with incidents of some sort. Uh, so there must have been plenty going on, but thankfully we were able to keep it clean, get ourselves a 0x to go with our podium. So lap one, it looks like the five gets dumped. That's where that anger came from, I guess. Although I feel like I remember him saying something later. But uh, it looks like we just had a stack up here. 12 heading into the corner. And then I think uh, maybe he sees Austin coming quick. And feels the pressure to go quick around the corner. And maybe that's uh, balancing act there. That balancing act there caused him to end up into the back of Barry, I think his name is. The 5. Oh man, the 9. Not quite ready to check up as much as the 11 was ready to. Yeah, he just slams on the gas uh, into the 11, maybe trying to, uh, thinking he needed to get around the spun car down low as quick as possible. And Joe gets dumped. It's never his fault, as usual. And uh, unfortunately, it seems like about half the field gets caught up into me, or into it. Lots of people caught up, it looks like. Let's see what they're approaching here. Joe trying to get off the track as quick as possible, I think, was the plan there. That's why he's rolling. Or just throwing his hands up in the air and being like, what do I have to do? Because <laughs> it seems to happen pretty often. Maybe uh, maybe just uh, in general, a lot of guys could maybe hold their brakes a little bit better. So we did have some rolling across the track as guys were coming, which is generally not what you want to be doing. Oh man, Nick, with that snap, I was telling you, it almost got me a couple times. It really likes to do that here at USA. The exit of the corner is pretty tight, and so you get lots of wheel in it, and then you start putting the throttle in it, and a uh, bad combination. That can lead to a lot of uh, snap loose. So the 8... Don't think he's quite there yet, and that's maybe why the 7 decides to uh, drive in his normal line. But the 8 says, I'm going to be there. <laughs> hmm, yeah. So that's uh, the 8, uh, they're both going for the same spot there, the 7 and the 8. Somehow, no crash. Um, but the 8 does get the spot, he gets what he wants. He's, uh, he's aggressive, and he gets around him. Aggressive goes around. But uh, in a different context, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, there's the uh, loose on entry. So that'll happen too if you drive in too hard. I think if you kind of enter higher, put the wheel into it, and then start like getting that brake. You know, dragging the brake. 
And especially if you've got the lower brake bias, it'll start pitching on you. And then uh, once you're at this point, your tire heat goes up so high that uh, it's just going to be like on ice. Yeah, next time. So, 15 gets loose. Unfortunately, ends up in the wall pretty hard. That's probably some decent right side damage. Uh, is that it? That looks like it's it. So, actually, after uh, the big wreck, kind of midway through the race, or early midway through the race, it seems like it kind of cleaned up from there. Maybe we hit some distance between guys. But, uh, hey, that's a successful race. That went so much better than I expected. Like I said, in the uh, practice, I was not feeling quite up to pace. And so to somehow qualify second and finish third, absolutely thrilled with that. I'm still cool with Lilith having let Larry go. I think that was the right move because once, uh, once he had the nose on my inside, uh, we'll go back and look at it if we can. Um... Once he had the nose to the inside, I don't think there was any way that I was going to uh, hold him off. Because you can see here, he, he, had the, uh, he had the nose on me. I believe I heard the call right around there, and uh, I knew he was going for it. So, you know, take that outside line, and uh, my plan is, you know, we could, I could race him, end up side by side for 5, 10 laps or something crazy. But the thing, all that's going to do is let Justin creep forward, get closer, and then maybe find his way to my inside. And uh, I don't think I'm going to win that battle um, side by side at a short track where the bottom line is the preferred line. So what I do is I kind of take that wider entry so I can get a good exit and be up right behind him and file in and keep that couple car lengths to Justin. And that might have been uh, the difference in being able to stay in front of him the rest of the race as well. So... I'm cool uh, with that decision I made. Uh, we give up P2, but potentially are able to hold on to P3 and not fall to fourth by the end of this thing. So we'll see what that P3 did for us in terms of I rating and uh, safety rating. I mean, safety rating is going to be 0.00 because I'm at the max A4.9, so I already know what that's going to look like, but <laughs> helps reinforce that. 3711 is the strength of field. And uh, we'll pull out a nice uh, 198 championship points and 34 I rating. We're above 5,900 for the first time. Getting real close to 6,000. Never thought I would get that far. But uh, being able to finish ahead of a guy with, like Justin, who's almost at 7,500, that'll, uh, that'll do good things for your I rating. Speaking of, the four, showing uh, how fast he is and getting very... Uh, well rewarded for his efforts there. 72. He's got the fastest lap. He dominated this thing. And, uh... We'll scroll down here see the rest of the field. As you've got, uh... Gavin Rapchan in a very solid top five with Austin right behind him in sixth. Steve wished us good luck and he had a good race there in seventh. And, uh... Good field. That is about it. Had a couple of guys that uh, we know that unfortunately had some bad luck. But all in all, pretty decent race. Decent short track race. No uh, huge calamity like you can sometimes get. So definitely will take it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll be back with some more uh, combos from this week on iRacing. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.